Seven new titles are ready to stream today, 20 new games announced for April, and the GeForce Now app is now available on Chromebooks. There is a lot of GeForce Now news going on this week, so let's dive in. Before we start, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more GeForce Now news and reviews every week. Right, to kick off the GeForce Now news this week, it is National Tater Day. Remember, even a potato PC can become a high-powered gaming rig through GeForce Now, even a not-so-well-powered Chromebook. As mentioned in the intro, the GeForce Now app is now available on Chromebooks. You can go right onto the store and download the app and get access to over 1,000 plus PC titles. Now to get into the crunchy news today. At its roots, GeForce Now is about playing great games at spectacular quality. Today, the final seven titles of March have landed and are available to stream right now. Our first brand new title that has released today is Midnight Ghost Hunt. This is an incredibly interesting title, which in essence is a ghostly hide and seek multiplayer game. This is a 4v4 multiplayer experience where it pits both ghosts and hunters in a chaotic battle against each other. Do stay tuned to the channel for a review of the game running on GeForce Now. Our second brand new title which you can play day one with GFN is Weird West. This game is a dark reimagining of the Wild West where lawmen and gunslingers share the frontier with gruesome and fantastical creatures. The game was developed by ex-arcane developers so definitely put it on your radar if you haven't done so already. I'll be putting out a review of the game running on GeForce now in the coming days. The final five titles that you can stream today are Dying Light Enhanced Edition, this is the award-winning zombie FPS with all the DLC but expanded and enhanced. Elex 2. This is the sequel to the fan favourite Elex. You must once again take control of Jax and fight against a new threat who want to change the face of the planet forever. Far Changing Tides. An atmospheric vehicle adventure that follows the emotional journey of a boy and his ship. Heroes Hour, a deep, accessible and content-rich strategy role-playing game in which you take control of your hero and explore, build your town and fight in fast-paced battles. And our last title is Martha is Dead, the dark first-person psychological thriller set in 1944 Italy that blurs the lines between reality, superstition and the tragedy of war. Remember, all of these titles are available right now to stream on GeForce Now. And before we get into the 20 new titles of April, let me know down below what you've been playing on GeForce Now this week and what games you're excited for. So we will now rattle through the 20 announced games that are coming to GeForce Now for April. We have Anno 1404 History Edition, Blast Brigade vs the Evil Legion of Dr. Creed, Cities in Motion 2, Cultist Simulator, Die After Sunset, Elderborn, EQI, Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark, Flashing Lights, Police Firefighting Emergency Simulator, Galactic Civilizations 2 Ultimate Edition, Jupiter Hell, Off World Trading Company, Ranch Simulator, Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter, Soul Crester, Star Control Origins, Spirit of the Island, Twin Mirror, and Wobble Dogs. These are currently the 20 games announced to be arriving to GeForce Now in April. Do stay tuned to the channel each Thursday when the news drops for additional game announcements and updates. Finally, we have the big announcement that GeForce Now is growing once again. GeForce Now powered by a buyer, free and priority plans are available once again. Do note that this will last for a limited time while supplies last, in Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay and Chile. That's the GeForce Now news for this week. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already for the best GeForce Now coverage here on YouTube. My name is Fletcher and I will see you all in the cloud.